All right, guys. BB Phillips here, getting you uh, not really a review of this Romeo 4T optic. Not really an unboxing either. The reason I'm doing this is I tried to find out a bunch of information on YouTube and the internet and couldn't really find what I was looking for. So, making this video for those of you guys that maybe are in the same boat as me, looking for some information about this optic and what it has to offer. From what I can gather, this is the top of the line uh, red dot that SIG offers, at least as far as the same footprint as like an Aimpoint T1, T2. So starting off the subs to the box, uh, this is the 2 MOA version. They have a 1 MOA version as well. There's four different reticle options with this optic. And one thing I was wondering is where it was made. I came across information that it was made in Japan. However, the box says and the red dot site itself says that it was designed by SIGSAR in Oregon and assembled in the USA. So not quite sure where it's actually from, but that's at least what the box tells you. All right. So opening up the box, comes with your instruction manual. Other things it comes with, some bikini covers. The battery is already installed. Adjustment tool. Torx bit on one side, flat blade on the other. Uh, microfiber lens cloth. A low mount for mounting on maybe shotguns, AKs, something to that effect. A kill flash, anti reflective device, and then a cover that is not see through. So one of the reasons I bought this optic is I was looking at the Trigicon MRO. Didn't come with optic covers. And from what I could gather on the internet, this did. And sure enough, it comes with see-through lens covers installed from SIG. Also in the box and already installed is a riser. It comes from the factory in a co-witness height and I plan on running this on an AR with an EOTech magnifier. The T1 I had had a one-third mount which lined up appropriately with the magnifier so I'm hoping this will as well. As far as the optic itself we already covered that it has see-through lens covers. Up top you have your elevation adjust adjustment uh, solar panel to run the optic off sunlight during daylight. Left side of the optic you have your power buttons to turn this optic on. You press and hold one of these buttons for a second. It'll turn the optic on and same thing to turn the optic off. To adjust the reticle, you're going to hold both the buttons at the same time for a few seconds until the reticle changes. And once again, there's four reticle options, and if you go onto the website, you can find out what those look like. Windage adjustment on the right-hand side of the optic, and then the battery itself. So this optic comes with the riser. It's not a quick detach mount. Okay, so you have a hex bolt mounting system. Some of the cheaper options do come with a, a QD mount, however I'm guessing based upon the price point of those that it's not you know, super bomb proof whereas this feels obviously a lot better. So my initial impressions of this optic is it feels really solid. It's got some pretty decent weight to it. I'll give you an uh, actual official weight here in a little bit. The only downside 
or I guess negative on point note initially is the size of this window doesn't seem to be as big as like an Aimpoint or even the Damarol. I'm used to an Aimpoint Pro and like I said the, the optic diameter the field of view is smaller um, I don't know that's gonna make a huge bit of difference but if I had to really nitpick initially that's one thing I've noticed. So I plan on taking this to the range tomorrow, uh, zeroing it. Maybe I'll post a second part of how that goes. As far as this weight goes, with the battery installed, the one third height riser. It's coming in at 7.58 ounces. Thanks for watching this guys. Hopefully it helps some of you looking at the Romeo 4T optic. Stand by for part two. And the other thing I forgot to mention is from what I also gathered this optic was selected or at least is approved by the FBI for use on agents rifles so with that I was at least more confident in the optic than say a primary arms micro red dot or some of the other cheaper options out there that are sub you know 400 bucks MSRP I will give a shout out to proven arms and outfitters I ordered this thing on February 14th, which was a Thursday. It arrived today, a Monday. I'm not sure exactly where the distribution center is. I know they're in the Virginia area. And that was a, a very quick turnaround to get this optic to me. They also offer law enforcement discounts, which are pretty significant on the SIG optics and handguns, I qualify for that. So that was another reason why I went with the Romeo 4T over the Trigicon RMO, MRO, I'm sorry, or another Aimpoint Pro. So take care, see you next time.